router. So no policy, uh, no, uh, no, no security inspection here. Uh, this cable goes to for this switch, this which is in touch uh, in our technology, uh, and for this switch is doing uh, a switch for uh, or between this panel and PLC. So uh, my forty gate and my computer is part of these internal networks. Uh, so. Give me a minute, I will start the virtual environment before we have we need some time. Uh, I will a little bit describe the device, what we are having here. Uh, this is, let's say, not SCADA, not ICS. It is very simple. We have uh, uh, a box. Uh, in the box is a PLC, Siemens Simatic. Uh, we have a uh, human machine interface and we have two traffic lamps. So it means my goal is to simulate uh, something which is controlling the crossroad, the lights on the crossroad. By the way, I don't know how it's work here, but in Czech Republic, uh, exactly this same model of device is controlling uh, the crossroad lights uh, in, in Prague. So it is not so not so uh, imaginary, but it is very, very real. So, uh, before we start, we start with the demonstration, I would like to show you the tool which is um, used for uh, creating a software uh, to do PLC. So I put here my, my software. Um, it's called Totally Integrated Automation uh, TIA Portal. It is a very nice tool. You can create a software for PLC and also do visualization for human machine interface using a single tool. So, uh, in case of our, uh, our demonstration, I need to share some values uh, from uh, the memory of PLC to the human machine interface. And this is connecting uh, these two technologies, so it is very easy to, to demonstrate and show it. So I will open the project and I will show you the user program of the PLC. So everything important is uh, hidden here in program block. So I will open the OB1. This is the most important scan cycle loop. So you will see it in a few seconds the main loop of, uh, of the user program. So, as I said before, this line <coughs> means voltage, this line means ground, uh, there is some output register, and this is the logical condition how to deliver the information. The complete uh, user program is, let's say, not so long, uh, some parts are also hidden, so I can open it to show you how it works. And of course, I can uh, connect to technology to have, a, let's say, a real time overview uh, of the situation. So I will press this uh, this uh, button, and if it's everything working, I should receive. The communication will start. Yeah. So you see green color, uh, blue color, color color, and if I start the technology, you will see that something is changing there. So it is pretty simple, I press the button here. Wow, it's working. <laughs> so this is the normal way how it should work. So you have red, so you have to have eight. In opposite direction, you have green, so you can go. 
and the, the technology or the software here uh, can somehow demonstrate how it works. It's quite complex piece of uh, software, so don't worry if you cannot understand what's going on here. But uh, most important is that I can create using this special tool some values from, from the technology. And as I said before, uh, this was uh, this was my my goal uh, to to be able to connect to the technology also. So I will close this application to offline mode and uh, I will open my application. Hopefully you can see it. I'm using Wine. Uh, because of this is a Microsoft Windows application, uh, so I'm using Vine to run this application on uh, OS X. Uh, what I need to connect the device is only here the IP address. So I will test if uh, I'm getting the response. The IP address of the PLC is 01. Uh, IP address of the human machine interface is 02, but it is not, not important. So I will try to connect the device. Wow. What you can see now? Uh, you can see uh, the memory of the device. And to be more clear, I described uh, some parts of registry or some memory uh, with uh, special uh, special tags. So here we, we have outputs. So if you will watch uh, the technology and you will see changing colors here uh, and compare it with the real state, uh, you will see that there is something which is uh, which is common. So this is green, this is yellow, this will be red, and this is red, this is yellow, this is green. So somehow this corresponds Also we have inputs. So I can press a button here on the panel. So I will press this button and you will see input zero is green. So using such a very simple tool, I can read the memory. I can read also not only inputs and outputs, but also the internal states. So, as you see before in the TIA portal, uh, there's a lot of, uh, let's say, internal variables, and I can read these var variables too. Uh, you, you can see here, this is still cycling from zero to seven, and uh, it, it, is, it is the infinite loop. So it's a stateful automat which is handled and this uh, register M2 is determining the current state of, of, of the communication. So I can read information. It is also important if I can write an information. So as you can see, there's a checkbox and I can try to manipulate with PLC to send some special commands to device. So I can do it like turn all outputs. And you should see that the technology is following me. I can also do something which I call a bypass. So I will turn off. Now I can bypass both outputs. Maybe I lose connection, bypass. And I can do with the technology what I want. So I can do it like this. Is it correct? Yes. Yeah. Here is a very important part. I need to show you. Show you using the webcam. Um, what is webcam? What is 
încălcăm This is the reality But the operator sitting in front of uh, human machine interface device is seeing absolutely normal state and that's because I'm able to rewrite outputs of the PLC but I'm not touching the internal variable which are used for, let's say, visualization. Uh, I put a very simple picture how it works exactly inside. So seconds. This is how it works. I've got the PLC and the PLC is running the, the loop with, with the user program. And as I said before, uh, the scan cycles number for this PLC is, I don't know, uh, 10 or 100 uh, cycles per second. So, or the scan cycle, it can take, uh, I don't know, 100 milliseconds. In this cycle, the device reinputs, do the user program and write outputs. In my case, I have my application, and this, this application is flooding the PLC, I don't know, 1000 writes per second, and saying, no, this is not one, this is zero, this is zero, this is zero, and this is one. So I'm doing, let's say, DOS or DDoS attack to device. And I'm rewriting the outputs so uh, so quickly or so fast that the user program the PLC cannot follow it, and that's the that's the, that, that's the reason that I have full control of the device. I can do uh, whatever I want. So the only condition is you need to be connected to the PLC directly. Yeah, for sure. I need the connection. This is very critical. But as you can see. Uh, for the connection, where is the application here? I need only the IP address. Yeah, but it's physical connection. I don't, if you are connected, it's okay. But if you yeah, sure. So, this is the situation. Uh, very important thing for this also uh, the way that I'm was not, I was not, not asked for some credentials or username or password. I can directly connect whatever PLC I want without any. Uh, without any username and password. So this is the, uh, this is the, let's say, not so favorite part. And uh, my goal now is to show you how to secure such communication using Fortigate. So I will open the Fortigate way. Hopefully it 